Hi there, I'm Carolyn Spring. In this video, I'm going to explain the three areas that we need to focus on if we're going to recover from trauma. Because it's not just about being upset at a bad thing happening and then getting over it. Recovery from trauma is more like a complete rewiring of our brain circuitry. And in this video, I'm going to break it down into three key areas. So when people have DID, it can be overwhelming and recovery can feel a long way off, even impossible, because there's so much to deal with. Where do you even start? Now, the treatment guidelines produced by the ISSTD, they propose a three phase approach. You start off with safety and stabilisation, then you work on resolving the trauma and then you work towards integration. And it makes a lot of sense because the three-phase approach emphasises the fact that we can't just dive right into this work, but we need a foundation of safety first. But it can still seem overwhelming. So here's another way of looking at it. Three areas of focus. Three areas that we need to work on if we're going to recover from a dissociative disorder. Now, in very simple terms, these are our trauma responses, our interrupted development and our attachment. So firstly, our trauma responses. This includes things like flashbacks and hypervigilance and the way that our bodies and brains adapted to living in an environment of perpetual danger. We're talking real changes in our brain and nervous system here. So it's not about stopping being upset about what happened to us. It's about turning down the sensitivity of the brain's smoke alarm, the amygdala, and getting the brain's librarian, the hippocampus, to file away our traumatic memories properly so that they stop coming out in flashbacks. It's about resetting our nervous system to operate back in the green zone of social engagement rather than the amber zone of fight and flight or the red zone of freeze. And this is where you ideally need to work with a professional who understands the neurobiological impact of trauma. Because just talking about what happened getting upset about what happened. That doesn't resolve anything in and of itself. In fact, it can potentially keep us in the trauma response instead. So we need a much more trauma-informed approach. Secondly, there's our interrupted development. So we see this in DID in lots of ways, the way we've not developed a coherent, unified, sense of self, but instead we have multiple parts of the personality. It's the way we've not had the opportunity to develop so-called affect regulation strategies, ways of managing our emotions, because we've been way too busy just dealing with trauma. And it's the way that our survival-based back brains tend to take over, rather than our lives being led by our reflective, calm thinking front brains. So there's a lot of work for us to do on our cognitive, emotional and personality development. And that's why this stuff takes time. Although there are some quick fixes for some of the trauma elements, things like EMDR for example, this part of recovery is really about developing new ways of thinking and being. And there are no shortcuts for that. Thirdly, there's our attachment. Now, principally, I'm referring here to the way that we developed disorganised attachment because of growing up with an attachment figure who was both frightened and frightening. But I also mean our internal attachments. It's the way we relate to the other parts of our personality. So we need to develop consistency, care and mentalising. We have to be consistent and predictable with ourselves. We have to care for ourselves and learn how to self-soothe rather than hating and abusing ourselves, being punitive or ignoring. So we learn to be the parent, the attachment figure to ourselves that we never had. And we have to become aware of the different parts of ourselves and, and see things from their perspective to mentalise, as well as seeing the big picture as a whole rather than just the restricted vision of one part at a time. And so we encourage the flow of information and emotion between all the parts of ourselves. 
Now, I haven't told you here anything about how to go about this work. That's for future videos, webinars and training courses. It's a big topic. But in this video, I just wanted to spell out the three areas that we need to focus on if we want to recover from the debilitating impact of trauma and dissociation. So trauma responses, interrupted development and attachment. That's an overall roadmap of what needs to happen. And hopefully that will help you see that this isn't a quick fix. So if you're frustrated that you've been in therapy for three weeks or three months and you're still not better, don't worry, you're not doing anything wrong. We don't recover from years of abuse in just a few weeks of therapy. There's a lot to deal with. So be patient with yourselves. And also know that if you do the work, if you cover off all of these areas and you do it thoroughly and with integrity, then you will recover. There is hope. Speak soon.